I'm here in the field uh, just trying to do sprints, uh, workout for the day and I just thought I should share something that I learned uh, this week. I read somewhere that if you are bombarded with messages of fear non-stop, they can totally change how you think. In fact, you can be brainwashed to a level that no amount of clear, you know, logical information can change that. And that's really the power of fear. Fear is devastating. You know, whether it's information that you have or information that you do not have, fear can paralyze you. And if you allow the spirit of fear to operate in your life, it can destroy you. And no wonder the apostles writing to the young Timothy in 2 Timothy 1.7 tells him, we have not been given a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, a spirit of love, and a spirit of a sound mind. And those three things in itself can tell you how to fight fear. But specifically for me, I wanted to just focus on the word love. That in fact, there is a deeper revelation of the love of God that if you understood would, would totally change, you know, how you look at life and, you know, even how to fight fear in your life. One of my favorite verses in the Bible is Romans 8, 35 that says, who shall separate us from the love of God? And then it goes ahead to mention, shall it be persecution or drought or famine or even the sword? In all these things, we know that we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. And so I know you know that he loves you, but do you know what it means to be loved by the almighty God?